Man, I am so thankful for the truck today. We got about probably six, seven inches or so, uh, but it is such a pleasure to drive. I just put it into four by four and it plows through anything. My entire neighborhood wasn't plowed yet, so I was able to just get right through, no problem. Incredibly thankful for the truck these days. I can leave the STI at home in the garage nice and clean, and the truck can handle all the grossness on the road and everything, so really, really thankful. Plus, it looks pretty badass. Really wish I had my wheels and tires on right now, <laughs> but this will do just fine for now. These are the kinds of people that are just absolutely idiots. Clean off your cars, please. You literally can't see anything. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so we are back in the garage. We're gonna be doing a few things on the truck tonight. It's outside right now, so I gotta pull it in here. But it is absolutely freezing out here tonight. It is actually 13 degrees. Uh, in here, it's about 45, so it's not too bad. I have the little heater on over here, um, which actually does a decent job of heating this up. But the only bad part about it is the truck is so big, I'm not able to close the garage, so it's gonna get pretty cold. But we're only doing a few things tonight, so we're not gonna be out here too long, at least I hope not. If you guys saw my last truck video when I was replacing the actual uh, turn signals on the mirror on the truck, I actually ended up chipping the driver's side mirror, unfortunately. And I just broke my mirror. Uh, and in my mind, I was like, ah, whatever, you know, it's 40, 50 bucks, I'll just get a new mirror. But I found out the hard way that they're actually like 200 bucks. From the factory, they're actually like 300 if you were to get it directly from Ford. But I found a really nice used new one on eBay. Uh, I think it was 180 bucks. And the reason why it's so expensive is not because it's not only heat, but it's auto dimming. So that's what makes it more expensive than a basic mirror. So naturally, of course, I had to chip the one that's more expensive, but we picked up a replacement. Like I said, I just got it from eBay. We are good, it's in great shape, no chips. It's exactly like uh, the one that's on the truck right now, just not chipped. So we're going to replace that. That should be pretty easy. Hopefully I don't break this one because that would be pretty upsetting, but we should be good. It's pretty simple to install. And also on my quest to remove all the chrome on the truck, uh, one of the only things up front still that's still chrome are tow hooks. So I really don't like any aftermarket options for the F-150. Anything out there, it's they're called D-hooks, I believe it's called. Um, they're the ones that hang down. They look a little gaudy, a little too much for me. So they actually have a factory option to have them in black. So I literally picked up brand new OEM black tow hooks. So we're going to remove the chrome ones and then put the black ones on. It's a fairly simple install. It's only two bolts on each side. So hopefully it goes smoothly. I've heard this can get a little tricky just because of the way they mount. And also, as you guys know, I replaced the turn signals on the mirrors. Uh, but unfortunately, the passenger side one was kind of flickering on and off. It wasn't working correctly. So I contacted Morimoto. I said, hey, you know, what's going on? And I showed him a video. So they sent me over a brand new set. Pretty cool of them. Really do appreciate it. And they warrantied it, obviously, because they were brand new. Um, so I'm going to replace the passenger side. Hopefully it doesn't have the same issue, but I have a brand new set here. So that is nice. So I appreciate it. So we're going to back the Telluride out, get the truck in here, uh, and hopefully it doesn't get too chilly and then we can knock out those little mods. And then on Friday's video, we're actually getting back on the STI mods. We're going to be doing something inside the car. It's something that I've been wanting to do for a while, uh, so stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, let's get these things done on the truck, hopefully quickly so it doesn't get too cold in here. Uh, but yeah, let's get started. All right, so let's get this mirror knocked out first. As you can kind of see, I'll show you better, but there's the little chip. It's not bad, the mirror works totally fine, but it's just something that really bothered me. So I figured I might as well replace it. So let's go ahead, let's remove it. All you gotta do is push it up, and then you can get access underneath to pull it out. Make sure you don't manhandle it like I did last time, and uh, that's how I ended up getting that chip. So let's just pop it off. Alrighty, so here is the new mirror, exactly like the stock one, just no chip. So we're just gonna plug it in. Now we're just gonna pop it back into place. Good, we are done, replaced, good to go. Now I just gotta realign it once I get in the truck, but much, much better, much cleaner. <laughs> So just for reference, there is the chip. It's a perfect mirror, but it's just that little chip. It still functions totally fine, but it's that little chip. Of course, it's gonna annoy me, so 
I guess that's toast, but I'll hang on to it just in case I ever need a spare one. But all right, let's uh, move on to the replacement uh, Morimoto turn signal, and then we can get on the uh, tow hooks. All right, I'm just gonna show you real quick of what the actual turn signal does of what I'm talking about so you guys get an idea. It seems to happen every once in a while. It's not constant. Let's see if I can get it to do what I'm talking about. Hopefully the new one can fix that and we won't have this issue anymore. So as you can see, it blinks a little bit and then it'll go. Um, the driver's side is totally fine. I don't have any issues with it. It just seems to be the passenger side. So I'm hoping the replacement doesn't do this. Otherwise, we might have to look into a different option. Uh, but yeah, just kind of annoying. I don't even see it when I'm driving, but it's something that bothers me. And knowing that it's not working properly, um, you know, it makes me not sleep at night. So let's go ahead and replace that. It's fairly simple. I already showed you the process of how to remove this and get everything installed. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, get this replaced. All right, so it looks like we fixed the issue. Everything looks good. It's blinking normal. There's no none of that weird flickering or anything. So we are good there. Um, so now let's go ahead. Let's move on to the tow hooks, get those replaced because it is really cold out here. All right, so we are directly under the truck. The bolts that we need to remove. Um, so here's the actual tow hook. If you go straight back, there's one 15 millimeter there and then one uh, actually right under this plastic here, this little cover. Uh, I'm trying to debate whether to remove this totally or just drill a hole to get to the bolt. Some people just drill a hole, but I'm gonna see if I can remove this first so I don't have to do that. Uh, but you don't wanna remove this one totally um, because it's slotted and there's actually a bracket in there. So you just wanna loosen this, but the one up here you wanna rem remove completely uh, and then you're able to slide it back and get it out. So let's go ahead, let's loosen this up a little bit and try to get this cover off. All right, there we go. We got the stock tow hook removed, the chrome one. Man, it is cold. I got my little heater over here, so it's helping a little bit, but really, really simple. As you can see, the back is slotted, so you just need to loosen it a little bit. The front one you need to remove totally. So let's go ahead, put the black ones on, and get this wrapped up, because it is freezing. Just for reference, there's the stock chrome ones. There's a nice new black one, so way better. <laughs> All right, guys, so we got that one replaced. Would it, for whatever reason, my camera did not record me putting that one on, so kind of frustrated, but I'll record this side. But I just wanted to show the difference between the uh, the two. That stands out so much, that blends in. And uh, we didn't have to cut any holes or anything, looks great. Obviously, it's an OEM piece, so it fits perfectly. Uh, so let's go ahead, let's get this one done. Um, I'm really, really happy with that. They were only like 50 bucks. So it's pretty cheap and looks good, and it helps remove all that chrome that has been on this truck. That I'm really looking forward to completely removing. So let's go ahead, let's finish this side, and then we can wrap this up. All right, guys, so we are done. Look how much better that looks. Way cleaner, blends in much better. Uh, I couldn't stand having the chrome. The only thing chrome left up front is the emblem up here. I do have new ones coming, which I mentioned. I'm still waiting on the Morimoto four banger fog lights as well. 
Those should be in probably next week or the end of January. I'm still waiting on them. They were on back order for a while, but I'm looking forward to getting them installed. Those should be awesome. And then all up front, there will be no chrome. Everything will be all cleaned up and looking way better. So we're on our way. I was going to also remove the side steps tonight because I can't stand those things. Um, I mean, they're nice for the kids to get up into the truck, but honestly, I just step right over them. I don't even need them. But all they do is, first of all, they're chrome, and second of all, they just hang on to dirt. I mean, look at all that dirt back there. It literally just sits on there. Looks gross. I understand it's a truck, but still, it's just annoying, and I don't think they look that great. Uh, there are some nice aftermarket options. They're the ones that fold up as well, which are really nice. Uh, I forget who makes them, but they're about a thousand bucks or so, so pretty pricey. So I might do them down the line, but I definitely would like to remove the stock ones for now and just give it a cleaner look. In terms of the actual level kit and the wheels and tires, we're kind of looking towards the end of January, hopefully a little bit sooner. We're still waiting on some things to come in, uh, but hopefully they come in sooner because I, I cannot wait to get the new wheels and tires on. It's totally gonna transform the truck. Plus these tires are old and crappy. And especially when it's wet out, the rear brakes loose so easily. Uh, it's fun, but also scary at the same time. So I'm really looking forward to getting new wheels and tires on. Plus it's really going to literally take the last part of the chrome off of this truck. Oh, I also need to remove the little eco badge over there as well. So I'll do that. But obviously needing a really good wash. I'll probably do that over the weekend. I need to wash the Telluride as well. STI is perfectly clean. So uh, we'll probably have a wash weekend. Hopefully it's not too cold. So we'll get that knocked out. And I'm really excited for new things to come with this truck. I'm absolutely loving driving this thing. Um, it has been a blast, especially with the recent snow that we just got. It was so much fun just kind of plowing through, you know, five, six, seven inches of snow. No problem. Not that the SDI wouldn't be able to handle that, but not having to worry about ground clearance and everything and just getting it and going. Uh, it was a really nice feeling. So I'll pick this back up in the morning with you guys, and then we can wrap the video up from there.